Well, Pride Over Prejudice, it's a, a year-long multi-arts youth performance project. Um, we've been working primarily across three areas, uh, Govan, Ibrooks, and Parkhead. And since last spring, we've been using you know, the arts, drama, dance, photography, visual art to address and challenge the issue of sectarianism, which in the areas where we're working, it's quite a prevalent issue. Hi, I'm uh, Brendan McElroy, the Community Development Officer for the Pierce Institute. I'm Leslie Easy and I lead the group in Govan. Hi, I'm Julia Jack and I'm the Drama Assistant working with Leslie here at Govan PI. Hello there, my name is Lee Samuel and I am one of the lead uh, workshop facilitators. There are three different areas I'm putting into the Pride Over Prejudice project, uh, Govan, Parkhead and Ibrooks and there's groups from all of these areas getting together to talk about um, what sectarianism is like these days in Scotland and um, I think you'll be quite surprised by where they take it. Um, it's been a really fun project, um, it's given me the opportunity to explore different ideas about what prejudice is with the young people. Uh, we're focused on bullying, we're focused on anti-sectarianism, we're focused on disability, we're focused on racism. So a, a big multitude of things that people can be prejudiced against. Well, after almost a year of the, the young people, at the moment we're working with around 60 young people, um, and that it's all going to culminate in this event which is on the 22nd of March um, and the event as well as being a platform for the young people to perform all the, these wonderful things that they've been working on from drama to, to dance, you know, their, their graffiti t-shirts. Uh, we're also going to have a photo exhibition um, documenting the, the journey of the project from beginning to where we are now. Uh, we'll have a, a nice buffet and some, some speeches and, and things like that. It's very much a community event. Um, maybe it'll act to kind of de demystify what we've been doing a bit and, and share it with the, the community. I think you will be surprised at how wide the children's knowledge is about not just sectarianism, but where sectarianism has gone to in the last few years and what, what they see as the injustices in their society. Uh, I'm Jack and I'm 13. We've like talked about like different religious stuff and the skin colour and like I would say like the first meeting as well because that's sort of prejudging if like you just meet someone for the first time and you do something that they don't like that's instead like, pre prejudging them. Well, my name is Leila McDonough and I'm in the upper group of drama. I don't think school like right now since I'm only in primary school they wouldn't go over this like maybe eco drama or stuff like that but they only really talk about outside so I don't I think it was a really a really good thing to come out to come to this drama class because I've learned lots about about what I can do and what I can express and everything about drama. It's incredible how open the young people are um, and sharing their stories because we've heard stories of bullying, stories of racism that they're experiencing at school or, or just things that they have personally witnessed out in the street or just, you know, during a football match or whatever, you know, and they're, they're coming in and they're sharing their stories and we're working with them in ways that they may not do in a normal day to day. I think the arts are a great way of exploring sectarianism because um, it allows um, the young people to really explore the idea of sectarianism through storytelling, through uh, the idea of improvisation, um, through workshopping elements of it. I think there's been a lot of, I'd like to think, a lot of achievements for everyone involved in the project, from people like myself managing the project, to the tutors, to the young people themselves. I'd like to think that young people have started to look at sectarianism in a different way. I think we have a lot of discussions, almost every workshop, the tutors, well, though there is a discussion element, we talk about what we've learned and we share stories and experiences. And I think one thing that all of the groups have in common is that they really thought sectarianism was all about Celtic and Rangers, Catholic and Protestant. And I think what we've managed to do is 
you know, explore the idea that sectarianism is much bigger than that. Sectarianism really is an intolerance of anyone, you know, due to a factor out with their control, it's about who they are. Racism is sectarianism, homophobia is sectarianism. So I think we've, we've you know, taught the young people to have maybe a slightly larger viewpoint, if that's the right word. Change the perspective um, on sectarianism and got them to think of the bigger picture. Yeah.